CataractCoach.com. Manual capsular tension ring insertion. You know, you can place this CTR without using an injector. For our opening guest surgeon, here is Dr. Soham Dave from Nigeria. Here's the case. End of the nucleus removal. That went fine. Faco looks good. Putting some viscoelastic in here. Uh, maybe a little bit of cortex. Maybe a little weakness in the capsular bag. I see that. That's why the extra step of putting in viscoelastic. So good move there. Now, this patient may have a history of recent trauma. We'll check that out. More viscoelastic going in. Always a good idea. Kind of taking a lay of the land, seeing what's going on. Is it just a little bit of cortex there? Do we have any caps or weakness? Now, the asymmetric dilation of the iris makes you worry that maybe there was prior trauma, but taking your time, let's go with the IA probe. Let's see what we can do. See if we can remove any of that lens and material, clean it up a little bit. Now, looking to make sure the capsule is not going to move. And so, when you do this, look at your rexus edge. If the rexus edge moves, that's probably not a good thing, right? Think about it. So the cortex coming out nice and easy, slowly, nice and gentle. Take your time. All right, that's just cortex. But there's suspected weakness of the capsular bag as well, the zonular supports. So very carefully, most of the cortex has been removed. I'll take that. And it may be a good idea with this mild zonular dialysis or zonular weakness to get a capsular tension ring in. So good, get a good fill of viscoelastic first. If you can also... Try to remove the cortex first, because remember, the, the CTR can trap the cortex up in the capsular bag equator. So there's the CTR. Now, it looks so much bigger, but of course, remember, it's springy. It exerts that outward force. So when you put it in the capsular bag, it'll just push towards the edges of the capsular bag. So you can try it going through your para like that, and you can just dial it in. As you push it in the eye, you really want it to follow the curvature of the capsular bag. So... Nice and easy dialing it in. You can also use a Sinsky hook through another incision to hold that leading eyelet. That sometimes is very helpful. So he's passing it around nicely, going along with the curve of everything, which looks great. And if that parathesis is big enough, you can do this with the forceps, but you may just have to use the, the Sinsky instead because that parathesis is probably not wide enough to let the forceps tips go inside. So now you just, yeah, hook that with the para, the, para, um, the Sinsky hook. And now, oops, now it's on top of the iris and the angle. So we'll just fish that out, take your time. And if you can put it in that eyelet, there you go. Now you place it in the capsule bag. So you can certainly place a CTR without using the injectors. Now, I tend to use the injectors. We can order these basically preloaded in the injectors with a CTR. And that makes them very easy. You can do it with just one hand. But if you don't have that uh, preloaded one, that's no big deal. You can use this uh, standard CTR and inject it. Or just dial it in like this with just two forceps, just one at a time, leading it little by little. Now, remember, the key is don't poke it into the capsule bag. You want it to curve around the capsule bag equator as you put the CTR. So approach that capsule equator tangentially. Don't approach the capsule equator uh, radially. Now, here's the lens going in the capsule bag. So once you have that CTR and you can put the single piece of acrylic lens in the bag and its orientation doesn't really matter all that much because you've got the CTR providing 360 degrees of outward support on the caps or bag equator. And so finishing up now, you can remove the viscoelastic from the eye. That's a real nice looking case here. We've seen some other videos in the past from Dr. Dave here on Cataract Coach. You should check those out. He's obviously a very talented surgeon and has a thriving practice with a wide variety of interesting cases here. So cleaning things up just nicely. You also notice that he's using a temporal incision, yet sitting superiorly. So again, whatever your preference is, no problem. If you are going to do this, though, think about it. When you operate on the patient's other eye, you'll have to switch hands. If you still want to make a temporal incision, when you operate on the patient's, let's say, left eye and you're sitting superiorly, you may have to use your left hand to make that temporal incision. But uh, you're a young, talented surgeon. You can certainly do that as well. So finishing up the case here, very nice. If you have a case that needs a CTR, keep in mind, you don't have to have an injector. You can put it in manually too, and it'll turn out just fine. Thanks for watching.